Over to Brisbane. So they're not, uh, they're drafting to start into the second round. Uh, so they got Logan Morris at 31, and then Luke Lloyd, uh, Zane. Zakastelski. Exactly. Oh, I'm going to call him ZZ. You're not the, you're not the first one. He's the yes. first ZZ that's been drafted. Yeah. Um, and Reese Tyrant. Yeah. Um, so some key position talent um, was kind of the focus for them. So Morris, uh, a pretty mobile um, key forward. Luke Lloyd, similar. Like they're, they're, they're yeah, both two key forwards, but not exactly the same build. So Luke Lloyd's probably a bit smaller and can probably play a bit better at the ground level. Uh, Logan Morris can play back line if they want him to do so they did get Zane Zakastelski though who's a you know, key defender that might be able to pinch hit in the ruck so that was kind of their focus but um you know I think we heard from Stephen Canole that you know these are the picks that they're happy to to, to bring in but won't be rushing them into into any senior football and I think Logan Morris got a got a look at, at the VFL this year uh, I don't think Zakastelski played any waffle seniors um and Luke Lloyd, he's, I think everyone, every time you hear about him, you hear about his 19 goal game in mm. school footy. So that was kind of a big highlight for him. It's um, pretty so, handy. So all three, all three of those guys will, yeah, will be given a bit more time um, to develop. And then Reese Torrent, a uh, bit of a midfielder. Um, so just offers probably a bit more run and, and some ball winning prowess. And then they picked up Bruce Revel uh, in the rookie draft. So I think he's like a utility player. Um, has been on in their VFL program for a couple of years, and he was just a cap B pickup. So cheap, doesn't cost him anything on the salary cap, um, and one that they must have liked out of their own system. So yeah, not not like a headline grabbing you know draft crop. And they probably picked up more players than they thought they would. Yeah, uh, I think they were pretty happy to see Reese Torrent available with their last pick. Um, yeah, had no list uh, had no list spots for the for the rookie draft, but they were able to get Revel as that you know pre listed addition. Um, so yeah, busy enough. Uh, but you know, like I said, they've got some key forwards who will be afforded time to develop. Um, you know, they'll have Brandon Ryan kind of yeah. taking Jack Gunston's role, and um, you know, their backline or key defensive stocks are, are pretty settled at the moment. So Zakostelski is is a bright player that definitely needs you know a bit of time before he gets a look at senior level. So um, I think that's a good thing when you draft sort of went in that area that you're already like you've, they've already got a pretty settled forward line and a pretty settled yeah, back like line so like developing those year. kids yeah, yeah as gives you that perfect kind of, place to develop yeah, region on the run um and kind of can settle on that next crop like they've got a, a few players i don't think that have played games and they've been on their list for a few years like um it's uh, henry smith might might be, like he's contracted for like three more years yeah but he hasn't he hasn't got a look in these first couple seasons but they're they just know that they've got a lot of these guys ready for when they need them yeah. down the down the line. And so the draft they signed a three year contract, don't they? Oh, first rounders. First rounders. So I think yeah. it's two two years still for for anyone that was drafted on the second night. Rookie drafts can be, I think, a bit up and down uh, from one year to two year deals. Right. Um, but yeah, any so none of those players will have three year deals. Um, I wouldn't have thought. Yep. Beautiful. All right, so